welcome. This is the third part of the lessons, and here we're going to be learning the, uh, the solo and then the ending of the song. It's pretty simple. After the... We're going to go to the solo. This starts in the third fret of the top string. Four, three, five. It's uh, open, I mean. Open on the top string. That's how it starts. Sorry. Zero, three, five on the top string, and then five on the second string. Just like that. Da, 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 da. Then the second part of the solo is zero, three, five, six, five. That's on the top string is zero, three, five, six, and then five of the seconds. Now that's how it goes. And then it repeats the first part. And then the only thing that adds to that is five, seven, three on the second string, seven, five. So it goes like this, zero, three, five, sec the second string, five, zero, three, five, six, second string, five, then it repeats, zero, three, five, second string, five, and then five, five, seven, second string, three, top string, seven, five, seven. I'm going to do it real slow for you guys to learn by looking at me. That's the whole solo. It repeats about four times. There's another solo on top of it, which is like electric guitar. I can't really do it on an acoustic guitar. And the next part after that is back to the chorus after this. The chorus you already learned. Do it faster. So after that, eight, ten, eleven. Now this is where it changes. Look at this. You're gonna grab your ring finger. You're gonna put it on the tenth fret of the uh, fourth string, top to bottom. And you're also gonna play the third string, top to bottom. The the third string, top to bottom, is gonna be open, and the fourth string. From top to bottom is going to be in a tenth. And you're only going to do down strokes. So just like that. You're only going to play those two. And then you're going to do kind of like a D shape over here. But you're going to take this this finger off and you're going to only going to play these two. Which is third string on eight, fourth string on nine. And that's just once. And then you're going to do. twice and then what you're going to do is this same position you had before you're also going to put it on the all three strings on the bottom which is the 10th fret and you're going to play them all and then the actual D shape on um, third string on eight fourth string on nine and then fifth string on eight again just once this is how the whole thing goes On eight, I mean on zero. Eight zero 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 zero. Eight zero 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 zero. Eight zero 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 zero. Eight. Then after that, the same trick we learned of uh, index and pinky. We're gonna start in the same position, five and seven. But we're gonna slide it to um, eight and ten. So we're gonna do five seven. Slide, eight ten, seven nine, eight ten, and then all three top strings on eight. This is how it goes. And to end it, you omit the eight. You only do, and you only do those three, which is seven five. 
So that whole part goes like this. any uh, comments whatever comment below and of course if you like it if you didn't comment below and uh, any suggestions for new songs for me to do comment below too uh, I'll be try I'll try and do a few other songs and lessons over the summer I really have nothing better to do so hey who knows maybe I can do one song that you like uh, from Breaking Benjamin I could do um, it's not in the right tonality because I gotta drop it a sharp but I'm going to show you guys right now a sneak peek of what I'm going to be doing later on in the summer, which is going to be Diary of Jane. It goes more or less like this in a different analogy. <laughs> So tell me what you want to hear, tell me what you want me to cover, and I'll do it for you guys. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Click like below.